What's going on? We're going to Africa. So Sam and I are headed on our honeymoon. She said I could vlog a little bit. So this is gonna be pretty broken. But uh, I wanna bring you guys along for a bit of it. As much as you allow. And we're going to Africa. It's honeymoon. They it don't wanna be here for the whole thing. You don't wanna be here for the whole thing, that's true. Uh, we're going to South Africa, spending two weeks. And uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna all do yet, but we'll, we'll give you some glimpses into what our honeymoon is all about. We'll see you in Africa. Not doing too much vlogging on this trip as I stated earlier, but I want to give you a little update. We flew from Johannesburg down to Cape Town. We are now in Simons Town on the southern tip of South Africa. First leg of the trip was incredible. That was our safari part of the trip. Uh, Sam saw the big five, which was, it's kind of a goal for a lot of people going on safaris for the first time. That's seeing an elephant, a rhino, a buffalo, a leopard, and a lion. She saw all of them, which uh, is not an easy feat, so we just had an absolute blast. I shot a little bit of slow-mo footage I want to share with you guys. So here we go. Three, two, one. That was a recap of, uh, of some of our safaris. Absolutely incredible. I love, love, love South Africa. So cool being that close to those crazy animals. But here we are in Simon's Town. Gonna do some beaching, maybe see some penguins, maybe some seals. But something else came up that wasn't planned for part of this trip and this is why I have the best wife ever. She said I can go fishing. I wasn't planning to go fishing. I saw some fishermen, got a little bit antsy. She could see that I was going a little stir crazy. So she said, Jay, you should go fishing. I'm gonna sleep in for the morning. So tomorrow, I'm going fishing, and I don't know what to expect. Not sure what type of fishing it'll be, but uh, I'm sure it'll be new and unique because I haven't done much fishing in South Africa. So I'm bringing you guys along. Guys, today is very exciting. I was not planning on fishing this trip, but welcome to Simon's Town, South Africa, and we're going deep sea fishing. Um, Sam said, Jay, you should go fishing. And I wasn't gonna say no to that. I had no plans to fish, but when she offered it, I said yes. We're going out, and uh, I'm not sure what we're all gonna catch, but I'm just excited to fish in a new country, and hopefully the other people are okay with me filming, and we're gonna have some fun. We were aboard, there's gonna be four of us fishing. We got two guides. <laughs> Tim and Johan, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, we got the brothers oh, from yeah. England. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got Corey, we got Brendan, we got Steve. That's Tim at the wheel, Johan in the front. And we're going fishing. I think they said we might be going to Cape Point, which is where the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean meet, which is a pretty neat spot. And it's gonna be exciting. These guys are pumped. So these guys have uh, caught some squid for us. Some oh, squid. also uh, some bait, man. Yeah. The bait master. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter where you go, fresh bait is key. And there's some guys out here that went out this morning and caught bait. And they're gonna hook us up. Thank you. <laughs> That's the good stuff? Yeah, first squid, man. Yeah. Oh, That's man. what we paid top dollar for. Top yeah. dollar for that, hey? Look how fresh it is. <laughs> it's a beauty. <laughs> 
So we're headed out. We're not going to Cape Point like I might have thought. We're headed to near Seal Island. Seal Island is a legendary spot. You've probably seen it on Discovery Channel during Shark Week. But that's where all the seals live and during shark season that's where the great whites will come and destroy the seals. We're not in season for great whites. I'm still thinking we might hook one, but we'll see. But we're headed north. So basically what we're doing is a big drift. We're letting the wind take us. We're bouncing bait along the bottom. Very similar to walleye fishing with a Lindy rig. That's essentially the setup we're using with that squid. What a nice day. Here we go, first fish. Skunk has been broken. <laughs> What is this? It's a ready. Red Roman. That fish is vibrant. It's beautiful, man. Look at the teeth. Look at the gnashes on that. <laughs> so the reason why I grab them like that is gill plates are very, very sharp. So you can cut hmm. you. Yeah. If Back he goes. Let's, let's make it worthwhile. I, exactly. I promised my Tani a yellow tail. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> There was Let's one caught that. last week of 22 kilos. That's a shark. Yeah? Yeah, uh, I know it's mine. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't get the same one. Yeah. They are greedy he like called it, he said it's a shark. Yeah. Yeah. That's him. I think, uh, I think Pajama you know shark. Yeah. Pajama. Pajamas. Yes. <sighs> Caught me a pajama shark. See, there's the hook. There's my hook. There's my hook from before. Hey, <laughs> that's the, That's the one. This is the one that you had on. Oh, that's the one you had on, yeah. yeah. So, this is your striped cat shark. As you can see, he's got a couple of, a couple of little teeth on him there. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, very strong too. Thank you, sir. Gone? Yeah, with his dinner. Well, awesome. finally. Had a couple bites, a couple lost fish. And this is what's been working. Squid strips. On a small octopus hook. So what's the key? Has me a few times. Strips? Yeah, strips is the key. So with this I'm gonna show you another bite presentation which you could do. Oh that's cool. Making a little skirt. Exactly. So then it will sit in the water. Very cool. And flare out. Yeah. How to cut a squid 101 <laughs> with Johan. Oh, you want to give it to our man Jay there. Okay, no, 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 you take it. I've got it. Nobody wants it. I'll grab it. Yeah. Alright. Our boy Brandon's hooked up. Hooked up. Oh, yeah. Don't lift the tip too high. Drag and touch. Because it's a very light hook. Feels, feels, feels decent. Something a little bigger, maybe? <laughs> We're going to play this one now. I'm not sure what it is. So we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna nurse it. What do you think, Brandon? I don't know. It feels big though. Oh, Man, this has been a battle. Whoa, he's moving. This could be the one. Look at this course. Oh, that's a good. That's a good smooth on. That's a good fish. That's a big smooth on. That is a that's huge a good smooth. fish. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. Oh, <laughs> it's a good sized shark. He he's ready. Let me grab the leader. He's gonna. Not yet. I'm gonna try and. I'm gonna try to get him. Oh, he's off. 
Easy release. <laughs> well done, buddy. Thanks, dude. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good job. Good Jeez, boy. I've done my gym work for today. <laughs> yes, bro. I'm kind of glad I didn't take that rod. That would have been a bit of a workout. I I prefer to film sometimes. <laughs> Thanks. Sweet. That was awesome. That was a big shark. You've been, right. say, you've been saying the word brew quite a bit, yes, which is yes. not typical Canadian slang. It's not Canadian slang, no. What, what is a brew? A brew is like your bro, man. It's yeah. like uh, like we all brews, you know, like uh, it's a good word. Uh, it's like a bit of slang, I guess, but it's like just as a dude. Yeah, so yeah. where you would say dude, we say bro. So we're brews? Yeah, we brews. Nice, nice. Uh, <laughs> fishing brews. <laughs> yes, bro. Jay's just hooked Hot into up. a big one. It might have the been false, the shark. The false bay monster. <laughs> it's coming in pretty easy right now. We didn't see a shark just under the surface. What is, oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, so this is a very interesting. Oh! oh. What's that? Uh, it's a Joseph shark. So it's not a true shark, it's also not a stingray, but it's a, it's a very, very. Um, it's not a very commonly caught fish. It's also known as an elephant fish. He's got a bigger. It's pity we couldn't get him. Oh, that would have been cool. Got a very weird flap on his nose that's yeah. sort of flat. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've seen a little bit of everything. We had a real big fish following Corey's fish. Yo, I'm not sure. We weren't everywhere. sure what it was, but it was about four feet long and big and silver. What do you think it was? Uh, Garrick or Learfish. A Garrick. Yeah. Learfish. There's stuff going on. We're now throwing the anchor, sticking with the bait program. And the wind's picking up. And I think the fishing's going to pick up. But this is cool. I don't understand half these species we're fishing for or catching, so it's all new to me. I'm loving it. Anything you need to tell the viewers? Uh, patience. Patience. That's what I'm key. working on right now. But I feel good. I feel positive. <laughs> Perfect. All right. There wasn't much of a battle on this one, but it's, this is species number. I don't even know. Probably <laughs> four or five today. No, I think it's about seven already. Seven, eight. Yeah. What's that one called? A leopard cat shark. Leopard cat. I can see. Because you can see, yeah, the markings over there. So he's also got a couple of chompers on him. Let's move the hook here. Very pretty eyes as well. You can get it to open there. Yeah. That's a creepy looking fish. Yeah. Get it back. Nice one, Jay. Yeah. On the board. <laughs> Jay's the man. Guys, another. We're, okay, we count to number nine. This is a puff adder shy shark. Named so because he's got similar markings to our snake that we get in South Africa, the puff adder. We'll call it a trophy. And you can also use them as a bracelet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Species number nine. We got the chum slick going. We're probably gonna hit ten. I think that's safe to say. A few moments later. And so there, a minute later, ten. species number ten. It is bait fish, but it counts. Yep, mackerel. And you're gonna put this on live, you said? Yeah. On another rod? It's gonna be a live bait on, on that rod that Tim's got over there. Love it. Okay, Johan, you gotta show us what you're using to catch all these mackerel. Cause that's what we call a, a sibiki rig. It's basically just little flies. Uh, different colors. We got a shot juice one, silver one at the top, and a pink at the bottom, and a little bit of squid tentacle. Huh. So you throw your chum in the water, that attracts the smaller fish, and then yeah, we use this to catch them. In Canada, we call that a pickerel rig. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's yeah. it, it's the same sign of kind of uh, layout, except it's like wire and heavier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is more finesse. Wow, that was instant. Wow, how quick was that? Perfect. Anymore. Movie magic. Got you. Now you, we are right. filming. We're rolling. Hooked up. Hooked up, baby. <laughs> Don't know what we got. Is was this a live bait? No, no. Oh, another big stripe. Striped shark. Maybe we're not gonna roll this one up in the neck. There we go. How much of a fun boom landed. Yes. What do we got? The donuts, man. We got 10 minutes left to fish. This is Whoa, it. Hey, hey, hey. Nice one, man. The shark man. Sharky, sharky. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta kiss him, though. Nice. Yeah. Very yeah. salty. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's a wrap. We're headed back to the dock where we will conclude this awesome day on the water with this great group of people. <laughs> Thanks, awesome Jay. having you guys. Sorry, guys. Thanks, man. Good to be with you out here in the water too, Good man. Time.
Your bait worked. Did you get a fat one? It was good, we caught some fish, yeah, thank you. <laughs> awesome trip with Big Blue Charters. Made some new friends today. Thank you guys for letting Thank me dog you. it. Thank I'm going fishing with this guy in the UK. Oh yeah, Not definitely. sure when, but it's gonna you. happen. We're waiting for you, Jay, yeah. absolutely. Awesome trip with Johan and Tim, Blue Atlantic Fishing. And before we leave, Johan, what were the 10 species <laughs> that we so caught? Today we got a myriad of sharks. We got smooth on sharks. We got uh, hooked up with a little bronze whaler. We got striped cat sharks. We got leopard cat sharks. Then we got red roman, hot and tot. And I'm not too sure what, oh, mackerel. Mackerel, so yeah. That was impressive. <laughs> All of those I've never caught before. Thank you, Johan. Thanks very much, we look forward to seeing you guys yeah. again. Yeah, thank you so much, appreciate cool. it. All the best. Thanks, cool, guys. Thanks Take very care. much, man. That was so awesome. Amazing guys. Like I said, I can be pretty critical with guides. Those guys were top notch. Awesome guests that I got to fish alongside. Friends, brews, I will call them now. But, uh, yeah, the trip is not completely over, so I'm happy. We're gonna go check on Sam. And we've got a couple days left to honeymoon, so, yeah. Welcome back, as I said before, this video's not done. We have one last adventure before we head back to Canada and end this honeymoon, and it is... Swimming with seals. Swimming with seals, Sam. How nervous are you? I'm better now. We Googled seal attacks and we found one seal attack and it looks like the seal kind of just rubbed against a person and there was some abrasion. That was the extent of the seal attack. So Sam's feeling pretty safe. I'm excited to get some underwater footage swimming with these. They call them the dogs of the ocean, I think. But uh, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna switch to GoPro mode. I'm gonna put this in an underwater housing, the 5D. And... There's still sharks though. We could get eaten by a great white. Mm -hmm. Don't gray whites eat seals? Yeah. Good. We're suiting up, getting ready to go. Okay. They say there's no gray whites. Alright Sam. Yeah. Guys, that seal diving was one of the coolest wildlife experiences that I've ever been a part of. If you were in South Africa, more specifically in the Cape Town area, I would recommend checking it out. Um, as you can tell, this outro has been filmed at a later date. I've, I've had time to soak in the entire trip and it was perfect. Such a good honeymoon, such an amazing woman that I get to spend the rest of my life with. Samantha, I love you. Thank you for marrying me. There's gonna be many more adventures, many more videos together, many more trips. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>